Hello, graduate engineer. My name is Heiji, and today I'll give you this short presentation of how you can become a member of Engineers Ireland. Engineers Ireland is one of the oldest professional bodies in the country. We were established in 1835. We are multidisciplinary and we have more than 25,000 members. We are the sole body for awarding registered professional titles and we are your professional home. So here I have a list of the membership benefits. So once you become a member of Engineers Ireland, you have an opportunity to network with other individuals from different societies, from divisions in one of our events. We have more than 200 events per year. You and uh, have access to exclusive reports such as salary sur surveys and articles and and you also receive engineering news every week and every month from us and you can include your membership number in your cv or in your linkedin profile and also in your email signature you can learn new skills and so as a member you get a discount in all our uh, cpd courses and once you feel that you're ready to apply for your professional title, you get all the support you need um, to be successful in your application. And if you are traveling abroad or moving to another country, you will have your uh, engineering qualification uh, internationally recognized. Once you become a member, um, you can select which region you want to be part of. So there are 12 regions and they are um, in Ireland and also overseas. And they are connecting engineers uh, from all over, all over the world. You can select which division you want to be part of. And then you will receive relevant content uh, about that specific division. And you also can select which society you want to be part of. So there are 11 engineering societies uh, representing special interests. And for the graduates engineers, we have the Young Engineers Society. On uh, YouTube, you will find lots of content um, for, for lots of different um, sectors, divisions. So you can have a look in our um, YouTube channel. And we also have an opportunity to be a volunteer uh, in the STEPS program. So the STEPS program is a non-profit program where uh, engineers go to schools and talk about engineering. So this is a, a good opportunity for you to give back to your local community. So here I have a step-by-step -step how you can become a member of Engineers Ireland. First thing to do is to go to our website and uh, fill out our short application form and then send us a copy of your engineering qualification verified. So um, so this has to be in English. So if your qualification is not in English, uh, you uh, may uh, find a certified translation and get it into English. So we need your diploma and your transcripts. And so how you verify your qualification? Because you are sending this by email, we need, we need you to verify it first. So there are a few different ways you can do it. You can ask a member of Engineers Ireland, someone, a colleague in work, someone that you know, to sign a copy of your qualification, including their membership number and the date. Another way to verify is um, to make a copy of, your, of the originals and go into a guard station and ask the guard to stamp and sign every page of the copy of your documents. We also accept uh, documents from Digitary. Digitary is an online platform where you give us uh, access, um, limited access to your uh, qualifications. And we also have a college form. So you can send college, um, your college a form and they will sign and stamp and send it back to you. And then after you send your qualification, uh, there's the payment fee. So students are free. So students that uh, graduated in 2022, they can transfer us uh, from students to graduates for free. But if you graduated in 2021 and you were a member already as a student member, you then will pay 70 euro for the year. But if you're not a member of Engineers Ireland, you're becoming a member now, you then pay 280 euro uh, per, per year. Some of, the, of engineering companies, they pay uh, the membership fee to their uh, staff. So you can talk to your company and see if they will cover this cost for you. After that, you will become an uh, Engineers Ireland member. So you receive a, an email confirmation from us 
and giving you our membership number and you also receive um, a membership card by post with a certificate. And if you're already a student member, you can then transfer to full membership. So you go to your membership profile and you click in become a full member. And then we will be, will be contacts and uh, you'll be transferred for free. I have here a list of qualifications that are related to engineering. So if anyone here have a, a energy, uh, is a bachelor in energy or geology, physics, you also can become a member of Engineers Ireland, but we need a copy of your CV and a letter from work stating that you are working in an engineering role. Are the professional home for global engineers. 31% of all new members in 2021 were from outside Ireland and the UK. We created the Global Engineer Series, where each seminar is designed for or um, tailored to a specific country, language, gender, or engineering sector. And here I have a few examples of events we had during the year. So we had a Global Engineers for South Africa, for India, Brazil, um, for those that need uh, to apply for a working visa in Ireland and uh, engineers are in the critical skills list. And we also had um, a global engineers for Spanish speaking engineers. We have the referral friend scheme. So if you know someone that uh, um, wants to become a member of Engineers Ireland, you can refer them and get a 100 euro voucher. They need to include your details into the application form. They will need to include your membership number and your name, and you then will get a voucher uh, by post. So you probably heard about those uh, professional titles before. I have just this slide just to show the difference between them. So the engineering technician is someone that has an accredited level six and at least three years working experience. An associate engineer would be someone at level seven and at least four years working experience. And a chartered engineer is someone with an accredited level eight and accredited level nine, or only accredited level eight, but um, graduated before 2012, and at least four years um, working experience. This is what you find in the uh, chartered engineer regulations. But usually we see uh, engineers applying for the professional title uh, for chartered engineer when they have around eight years working experience. And then the next one is the fellow. So a fellow is someone that is already a chartered engineer for at least five years and held a position of responsibility. So it would be someone with between 15 and 20 years working experience. If you want to read more and know more about the professional titles, you can go to our website and you find all those documents there. And they will tell you exactly how the process works, what they are expecting to see uh, from you as, um, in an, as an engineer. And they also give you examples of how you can demonstrate your uh, skills. So that's it for me today. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your time. If you have any questions, please send me an email. I have also there the membership uh, email address. So please get in touch. Thank you.